Hey, what's up? Today I have a gorgeous little meat and potatoes recipe that's going to knock your socks off. All done in one pan. Absolutely out of this world. I'm going to do a honey glazed pork chop with Greek style lemon potatoes. You're going to be done and dusted in under an hour and it is going to be super, super delicious. So first things first, let's get right into this. I've got my pan preheating here so I want to brown my pork chops. So I put in a quarter cup of my Greek extra virgin olive oil and now I'm going to put my chops down to start browning. I'm going to throw in some seasoning, a little salt, we'll go down, a little bit of pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of dried rosemary. Pork loves dried rosemary. And allspice. Greeks are big into allspice. We put it on a lot of things. All right, time to flip these over. Yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. My potatoes. These are fairly small potatoes, so I'm using four. I'm going to cut my potatoes into one inch cubes approximately. I want them to cook quickly so that way they're not dragging this whole process and they're still going to taste the same whether they're in one inch cubes or they're whole potatoes or, or halves or whatever. It's going to totally work. My potatoes are done. Time to take my pork off and get to the next stage. Look, oh, look at that. Absolutely magnificent. Absolutely perfect. Love it. All right. Let's leave these aside now and just forget about them. I'm going to take my potatoes now and literally put them in my pan here. And it's going to be a two-style kind of cooking. I'm going to start off by boiling them and cooking them in water. And then I'm actually going to start frying and adding some color to them. So into my potatoes with nothing else, no spices, no seasonings, is some water. And I'm going to put in enough water there to basically cover my potatoes. Now, it may seem like a lot of water, but once this gets going, it's going to evaporate in about 10 minutes or so. All right, so my water is pretty much done. And you can see here, my potatoes now have absorbed all of that flavor of the brown pork chops. It's almost like a pork stock, if you will. So this is perfect, just the way I want it. My potatoes are pretty much done. You can literally mash them up, which is exactly where we should be here. Now, time to move on and build this up. So I'm going to take my pork chops, my brown pork chops, and I'm going to make a space here in the middle for them. I'm going to place them right here. Oops, that one almost got away from me. So, <laughs> it's in here, just like that. So I have my pork in the middle. I got a nice soldier course of my potatoes all around. Oh, can't forget this. This is our pork juice here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Let's doll up our potatoes and our pork. Before I do that, time to think about our oven. You're going to set for this your oven to grill or broil, and you're going to put your rack at the lowest uh, position. So that way you have your heat wearing down up here and everything just ready to receive it down at the bottom of your oven. Now, having said that, the next thing is adding even more flavor to this. And how am I going to do this? Honey glazed and balsamic. So I'm going to take a little bit of balsamic and I'm just going to drizzle it over the pork. And this in the oven will actually caramelize and sweeten up. And look at this, my juices are already flowing. It's going to become absolutely delicious. And honey. Pork and honey are like a match made in heaven over thousands and thousands of years. And all I'm going to do is literally take some honey and just drizzle it over the pork. Oh, 
the aroma of the pork and the the pork, the the honey and the balsamic vinegar is fantastic. And I'll have you know, by the way, as well, some of the best balsamic vinegar in the world outside of Modena, Italy, comes from the region of Kalamata, and it is may little it may be little well known, but it is absolutely fantastic. Especially some of their balsamic syrups or cooking syrups to die for. Now, back to this. Enough of that little thing. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil, a little more olive oil, put it on my potatoes all around. Perfect. Now, time to season up my potatoes because I haven't really seasoned them up. So I'm going to take a little bit of salt. I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. This is just standard seasoning part for the course. Perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of my dried Greek oregano and I'm going to just put it over the pork chops. This is going to be, mm, I can taste it already. Perfect. And with dried oregano and dried herbs in general, less is more. I'm going to take the juice of one lemon and literally just put it over the potatoes just like that. So I get lemon, olive oil, oregano, come on. All right, so one final thing to do before I pop this into my oven, asparagus. I absolutely love asparagus. I can do anything with this. So you're gonna take your asparagus and where it breaks, see where it broke there? That's a, this is the hard woody part, we don't want this. So to make things Faster, I'm going to take the piece that I just broke off and I'm going to use it as a guide for the rest of them. And then one cut, boom. These I can save for soups, I can save for something else, but I don't want to throw these away. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my asparagus and just place it all willy nilly all over the top of this. And this does not take long to cook at all, believe me. And a little drizzle more of olive oil, just like that. Perfect. A little bit of pepper. Just a hint of salt. And now we're ready to go. Now, I'm going to pop this into my oven, lowest setting on broil. And this is going to go for about 10 minutes, give or take. And we're done. It looks absolutely superb. Literally took about 12 minutes in the oven. My potatoes are crisped up, super perfect. There's a little bit of blistering on my, uh, on my asparagus. I'm going to show you, we're going to try this, and I'm going to show you how you present this as well. Look how soft these potatoes are. The balsamic has sweetened up. It's absolutely perfect. Now, for the sake of plating and presentation, just clear it up a little bit, just like that. Same with this end here. Now I'm gonna take little piece of pork chop here. Chef's choice, just to try it out. I'm going to place this on top, just like that. And I'm going to take my asparagus, a few of my asparagus sprigs, and again, right on top, just like that. Boom! You have an excellent, excellent presentation here. The plate looks absolutely fantastic from any way you look at it, it's absolutely perfect. It's absolutely delicious. What I would do as well, take it one step further, is just a light drizzle of my Greek olive oil. All right, let's try this out. Take a potato from the front here. Look how soft these potatoes are. They're almost like mashed potatoes on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely fantastic. Try a little bit of potato here first. Mmm. Mmm. 
and try out my pork. My pork is super tender, flavorful. Mm. I'm getting the sweet from the honey. Mm. I'm getting a sweet sourness, if you will, from the balsamic. Potatoes are nice and lemony. The oregano, the olive oil, classic, classic Greek flavors. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So that's it for this episode on my honey glazed pork chops with Greek style lemony potatoes, all done in one pan, under 45 minutes, and absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching again. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Much love. Bye for now.